Hey YouTube, uh, this is Joy Alex Two Five Three Nine here, and this little video on something I wanted to show you. It's something I got a while back ago, a couple months ago actually, but uh, forgot to make a video of it till now. So here it is. It's a banana border golf for eBay. And, like I cut a banana out of the grip tape, so it looks really cool. And then I put a toy machine stick on the bottom. And uh, put some zinger wheels on it. Not zip zinger wheels, they're just zingers. They're from uh, one of my local shops, Skate City. I think they're pretty old, but um, it's a roller derby banana board. And it's a 77 carat one. It says roller derby 77k. And it has like a crown on it right here. Can't really see the logo because it's so bright. But, uh, won this off of an auction on eBay for two bucks. Shipping was around like ten or something. I forgot how much, but it all came up to twenty bucks, and generally most of them were twenty bucks. I just noticed one of the things on the bearing the cage is coming off, but not that biggie. Because, uh, it's still secure, but plus, what happened was when I got this board, it had a uh, ball bearings in it, like the uh, uh, really old ball bearings, and I took it to the skate park with Macho Stork because he has one too, so we both took our banana boards to the skate park. And one of the ball bearings and like one of the wheels got jammed, so the whole wheel stopped turning. And uh, these are talking about that thing came off the bearing, so it's just like that now. See the balls, but it's it's in the cage, so it's fine. It's not like they're gonna fall out. It still rolls good, but uh, what happened was that happened, so. It's, sitting in my room for the longest time, Monster Stork wanted to fix it up, and uh, one day he did, and I thank him for that, what he did was, um, took the wheel off, and he actually ended up taking the whole hanger off the truck off, and we put longboard wheels and such on it, but what happened was, we used we just use some regular truck hangers, and apparently, like something happened, it didn't work. So he took it back with him, and he took one of his old banana boards, which broke. He took the hangers off of that, and the wheels and everything, and he put them on here. And like the pivot cups were also another problem. <coughs> I guess the pivot cups started like falling apart or whatever. So he also replaced the pivot cups and kind of glued them in. So they won like it's like one of them tore but it's still good. Not I highly doubt you can see that. And there's this one screwed in. Also, but uh the truck's are pretty loose. It's not that bad though. So it goes like that makes good turns and everything and I replace the wheels because the wheels are kind of big and can wheel bite. Let's see. Here's the wheels I had before. Like compare the size of wheels. The orange one is a lot bigger of course. So I put the smaller wheels on, it looks good. It rides pretty good too, because this board's actually kind of good to do flips on. Kind of weird. I almost got burials on it. Monster sure can keep flipping and such. You do some tricks on here, but uh, right now it's not recommended because we're still. It's still kind of weird. It's a really good board. If you want a banana board, just go on eBay. 
look it up, like, look it up, uh, either Vincent Skateboard, some Skateboards or Banana Boards, you'll see some that they're auctioning off, maybe, and you can try to get one, generally comes, generally, uh, generally, a good one comes out to, like, uh, kind of depending on which one you get to, sometimes around, like, twenty, thirty dollars maybe something around there, they actually, they actually had one where it was, like, thirty bucks for three, which was really good. I, al I almost got that one, but I didn't win it. Instead, I got this one. This one's real. I'm glad I got this one, though. It's, like, perfect. With most of them, it's got kind of, like, holes or whatever in here. It's got, like, squares in it. You know, and if you see pictures of them, you'll know what I'm talking about. This one's just solid. So, it's awesome. And then, like, the banana on the grip tape looks really cool. Sure, right there. It looks really cool. It fits in with it. This one's a really cool board. You know, kind of like getting some stuff off the sides. And, like, some of them, like, Z-Flex and stuff are 100 bucks, and they have some that are, like, pennies. Like, penny banana boards in there. I think they're from Australia. They're coming up to 150 But then you can go on eBay and, you know, just look around for these kind. And they still got, like, the ball bearings and everything. Thank God I took them out because the ball bearings suck. Because that, that was the 70s, so this is really cool. I like, took it to skate park a couple times. Did the quarter, like, served the quarter pipes pretty much. Really fun. And you can do tricks on quarter pipes, like how they did back in the 70s. Zephyr contest. The Zephyr skateboards back in the 70s, that kind of thing. Really fun. If you want to get one, you should get one. I recommend it. It's really cheap. Really cool. Kind of, like, really small, of course, but if you skate, you'll get... And if you can do all that, you can learn how to ride one of these. You know. Actually, that's like... How big it is. See how much of my foot hangs off of it. Like a tail. Well, it hangs off of the tail. I usually put it here, and then like, I'm gonna do something else, like turn or something. I'll just put it on here. It's like, a lot hangs off off of the tail. That's off of the tail. But uh, really cool board. If you want one, go get one. I advise you to. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my video. I'll probably be posting some more later on, so comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll post some more videos. So, stay cool and subscribe.